to trust the process, keep working uh, hard every day, and take it game by game. And we'll get it. Coming out of the locker room, Florida went on a quick run to take the lead back. What did y'all do to make sure that that didn't sink y'all like it did against Auburn? Um, we just make. I mean, we learn from our mistakes, so we're just trying. That's what. That's all you can do is learn from your mistakes in the past and try not to repeat them. And that's how you advance forward in life and in basketball. How much did it help to get such big minutes and baskets for the yeah. entire game? Yeah, that, that was one, that was one of the biggest things I think uh, <clears throat> that led that got us to win tonight was our bench um, and all the other players. You know, it was it was real spread out and everyone uh, was doing a good job finding their shots, helping uh, find um, their teammates' shots. It was just good basketball. Did it seem like the offense didn't have to run through you? You didn't have to carry the team, you know, unlike kind of last few weeks. Is that kind of a big lift, I think, for everybody? Yeah, um, you know, I was off the first half, and the um, rest of the team uh, stepped up and helped helped out, um, helped me out when I was struggling, and, you know, that's what teams are for. Uh, what, what does Nick bring when he comes off the bench in terms of, uh, obviously, the offensive board? Yeah. Energy. He, he, he has energy on the bench. He has energy off the bench. He's, he's a high-motor, high-energy guy. You know that that's what makes uh, Nick Nick, and uh, we get a lot we get a lot of momentum off of that. It seemed like even where they get the freshman and sophomores really kind of you know maybe contributed as much as as any this season. I mean, did you sort of see that coming? I mean, just maybe see it in practice more than you have in games. Uh, yeah, we. I mean, we just been running our sets in practice, and they've been making shots, and it's been a team game, uh, and we've been we just tried to correlate that to. Uh, the actual game uh, in practice, from practice. What does it mean to kind of withstand their 12-2 run and then you know, pull away like you guys did the rest of the game? Um, it, it shows that we have heart, you know. Uh, we won't ever give up fighting, no matter what the cause is, no matter what the score. we got to keep fighting. And, you know, that's what a true basketball player does. Okay. Regardless yeah. of the score, you got to keep fighting. Is there anything defensively you guys did that uh, stood out to you? Um, I just think we gave them one chance, and we, uh, when they did get a shot, we tried to contest it very hard after uh, those four minutes I provided in the beginning of the second half. How much difference does it make for you when, when, when the threes are falling from the perimeter from, from the other guys for mm -hmm. you to just operate inside? Yeah, it definitely helps um, when you have uh, interior play and uh, uh, on the perimeter as well because that opens up a lot of uh, opportunities for me and Derek and Mike and Clax to take our time and get a good look at the basket. Did you by any chance notice uh, play like kind of break or late? Yeah, JJ and Marcus. On the did did I see him? Yes, yeah. I saw him. I wasn't looking for him, but I saw him because they was on the court pretty much. So, yeah. 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 It's, just yeah. it's good seeing yeah. you know familiar faces like that and uh, Georgia alum supporters. And seeing how much it means to them because it looked like they wanted to throw on you for them to get in. Yeah, they did. They did. You could see it in their face and their eyes. You know, they they were just as much involved in the game as anybody else was. When you see uh, uh, when you see Clax play like that, uh, did, 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 uh, how how much upside does he have in terms of he's still a pretty skinny guy, you know? Yeah. Once he puts some some muscle, in his I think Clax has yeah, I think Clax has a lot of heart. Like I say, he's a high energy, high motor type of guy, and uh, just when he he just loves the game, and he loves to support, and that's what makes Clax Clax. He um, he's always looking to help out somebody else. You know, that's what you want from a teammate. Deontay, obviously after a big win like this, I was actually being asked to do this yesterday at availability, but I think you had a class or something. I just got the phone with uh, Armand Cartwright a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, and he mentioned to me, you know, about those times at Winfield Hills, growing up in the apartment complex and you know, being with each other's families. When you look back on times like those, how do you think that's kind of shaped you into the player that you are right now after you yeah. that? Um, you know, in my high school team, I was very close with everybody mm -hmm. uh, that was on the team, but especially our mom uh, and Khalil, yeah, yeah and Cameron. Um, we, we were like brothers because we all pretty stayed in the same um, uh, the same community. We lived like two minutes from each other, and so um, you know, if we ever needed something, we'd go over to their house, and they'd go over to my house, and so it just really made us close. And you know, 